this section is going to be talking about symbols and sets of numbers. Now, just about everything in here is just a review of what we've done before. So let's start out with the review and then we'll move into um, some of the things that we need to talk about that are new. Our very first example says insert and then we have these symbols. Now we know that these are less than and greater than but a lot of times we have trouble remembering which one is which. So you really need to know that this first symbol is less than and the other symbol is greater than. You really do have to know the difference of these because later on we're going to be translating and in order to get the correct symbol then you'll have to know the, which, which symbol is which. So insert less than, greater than, or equal in the space between the paired numbers to make each statement true. This example is not uh, difficult. We, we know obviously that 8 is larger than 5. But just in case, especially when they start inter, um, introducing in the negatives, remember you can always draw out a number line. And if you look at something on a number line, things to the left are smaller. Things to the right are larger. So in this case, we would put in the greater than symbol. Now our next example says the sum of the measures of the angles of a triangle is 180. The sum of the measures of the angles of a parallelogram is 360, and these are in degree measures. This says use the inequality symbols, and again we have to know what those symbols are. The first one is less than or equal to, the second one is greater than or equal to, to write a statement comparing the numbers 360 and 180. So if I write my numbers down, then here again if you need to think about this as, as uh, far as like a number line, you can. Uh, but we know that 360 is larger than 180, so we need to put in our greater than or equal to symbol. That should actually be or equal to there. Now our next uh, example again is uh, something that we have done before. We're supposed to determine whether the statement is true or false. And this first statement says 11 is less than or equal to 11. Now we know that 11 is not smaller than 11, but because it has or equal to, as long as one of those items is true, then the entire statement would be true. So 11 is equal to 11, therefore that statement is true. Now the next one says negative 16 is greater than negative 17. Well here again we've got our, our negatives introduced now and so this is where it gets a little bit confusing. If you need to draw out a number line and look at where negative 16 is in relation to negative 17. And also keep in mind as you move to the left things actually get smaller. As you move to the right things get larger. So in this case, 16 is larger than, or negative 16 is larger than negative 17, so that would be a true statement. Now the next statement says 8 is greater than or equal to 9. Now we know that 9 is bigger, so this is a false statement. In our next uh, example, it says rewrite the inequality so that the inequality symbol points in the opposite direction and the resulting statement has the same meaning as the given one, or means the same. Okay, so we have 25 is greater than or equal to 20, which is a true statement, but they want us to rewrite this so that we are using a less than or equal to sen uh, statement which means we're going to have to flip over our numbers so that 20 is still smaller than 25 or saying 25 is larger than 20. These are the same exact thing. In the next example instead of a less than they want us to change that to a greater than so we would have to also rearrange our numbers to say negative 2 is larger than negative 4. Here we're going to be translating really quickly and to translate, we're going to do it word for word. 7 is less than 11. That's all there is to translating that. And the next one says 5 is greater than or equal to 4. And there we go.